reports. They do not necessarily represent the views of the advertisers, management, staff, or ownership of WCTC. No time to call Jersey Central? Join the conversation online and be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. If we could listen to the radio or something. On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 8.08. Welcome to hour number three of Jersey Central here on a Telefriend Tuesday on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good morning. It's Bert, and we've got our contest that's still to come in this 8 o'clock hour. Someone's going to win a pair of tickets to Taste of Middlesex at the Pines Manor in Edison, so stick around for your chance to win, and that will happen uh, very soon. Well, of course, it's an ever-shifting political, economic, and demographic landscape uh, that we deal with uh, every day, not only in Jersey, but here in America. It can make it challenging for businesses to stay abreast of key workplace trends that impact their workforce. And it was one of the things that kind of came up at the Meet the Mayors event last week, too, that I hosted uh, in Sayerville. And joining me now to talk more about this on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline, let's welcome in Mark Bickford. It was the uh, Sodexo CEO of Corporate Services in North America. And Sodexo just came out with a report of global workplace trends. And if you thought you knew the workforce, and uh, Mark, there's probably people listening this morning that thought they knew what the workplace was all about. Boy, it, it, the landscape is ever, ever changing it when it comes to the workplace, uh, not only in America, but really around the world, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Well, first of all, good morning, Bert, and good morning to all the listeners out there. And um, and the work the workplace is uh, is changing and changing very fast, very very rapidly, and and globally. And um, Sodexo, uh, you know, uh, just a, a little bit of uh, backdrop as um, as a global uh, employer and leader in the quality of life services. Um, we're actually the 19th largest employer in the world, employing um, 425,000 employees, serving 10,000 clients in 80 countries. Um, we actually serve 75 million people a day on the planet. So, and we do that through uh, over 100 services that we provide um, uh, in various industries, from on-site food services to facility management. So, we have a very unique view, uh, Bert, in terms of the workplace, just because of our size and our presence globally. And last month, we issued the 2017 Global Trends Report. Um, this report really details uh, some of the most critical factors that are affecting the world's workers and employees out there. Uh, and the report uh, highlights 10 very specific important trends, and it's a really good tool out there for uh, employees as they're navigating this changing workplace out there. Uh, we've been doing this for five years. This is the first year we've actually done it globally. Uh, we've always done it uh, for the U.S., and it was uh, very interesting that uh, we thought it would be very different, um, but the trends are very consistent and synergistic, if you will, around um, around the world. So it's a very, very uh, interesting information to really uh, uh, look at how the workforce and, uh, is changing. Let's talk about some of this, uh, these specifics. And first of all, uh, congratulations, 425,000 people go to work every day because of your company. That's that's yes. remarkable. So congratulations on that. Uh, but thank you, uh, you look at the next generation uh, of worker, uh, whether it's here in New Jersey or anywhere in America or around the world, Mark, uh, the stat came up to me that in a very short period of time, almost half the workforce will be made up of millennials and, mil- and millennial talent. But I think it's a demographic that people might have a hard time kind of understanding what a millennial brings to the table. Is that covered in this report, and what are some things that people need to know? Yes, um, it is. It's, uh, it's one of the ten very specific global trends is around the millennials, so I think the, the, the folks will find it very interesting. So a few, few uh, uh, comments around that with the uh, millennials. And first, the millennial generation is a fact, so it's really not a trend. Um, and, and, and they are really impacting the traditional way of working. Um, today, they actually represent 32% of the uh, workforce, uh, Bert, uh, but by 2025, they will actually make up 75% of the workforce. And, you know, what we've seen and what we're, we're experiencing is that millennials really respond to flexibility in the workplace. So they're looking for an experience, you know, the, uh, of what that workplace is going to be. And quality of life is actually very important to them and usually ranks first in what they expect from an employer as well as when they're choosing which employer to work for. So many companies, including Sodexo, are, are responding to the millennials um, and, and, and other generations at work by really offer, offering opportunities to do, you know, to do things differently, you know, allow them time to actually support their charity, allow them time to travel, maybe work on some very specific projects outside their day-to-day responsibilities. So it's, it's, it's interesting because it's possibly the first time in the history 
that we actually have five generations in the workforce. And there's a real sense of priority from, from the employees out there and managers to make sure that they're adapting and addressing the needs of all these employees. But, of course, the millennials are, are, the, are the majority, um, and that will only continue. So it's important, and that's why we're investing in both the talent and technology to, to best evolve the workplace and help our clients and our prospective clients out there really help them um, identify what changes they need to make within their workplace to attract the best Um, talent out there. That is a staggering number when you said about the future workforce and the millennial talent. My producer, Justin, is uh, is right smack dab in the heart of the millennials. And, you know, uh, (laughs) I I try to watch him and learn from him and see what he's interested in and, you know, what matters to him and what makes a good work experience for him. Uh, It could even be uh, the workplace experience, you know, just the environment that people work in. Uh, You know, uh, you talked about uh, letting people work, do some charity work, do some volunteering. That work-life balance, we hear about that a lot, Mark, and it sounds like that's more important than ever. You know, you look at a millennial, and just because they're not, you know, working hard like, you know, I did growing up and our parents did growing up doesn't mean they're not contributing. And I think that's one of the things that people need to realize. Yeah, and, and I think what's interesting about this the, the, the trends report is that it really highlights the fact that the millennials will thrive if they're in the right environment and they're really happy at work. They, they, you know, they work in a different way, but their productivity um, and their contribution is equal or greater uh, than other generations, whether it's baby boomers or Gen, y, Gen Xs or, or traditionalists. So I think that there's a, a bit of a, a, a stigma, if you will, that, that they, they're, they're kind of, you know, this generation that feels entitled. That's the perception out there, Bert. But the reality is is that, you know, they are making up a third of the workforce today, um, as you just mentioned with Justin as a great example. And, and what's really interesting is we're going and moving from um, a workplace environment where the baby boomers are the bosses today, right, you know, in, in charge of the millennials, and that's quickly changing. So pretty soon the millennials will be the bosses, and 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 the baby boomers may may not, and be the be the subordinates. So how those generations work with each other, um, and creating the right types of environments so that they can collaborate and be productive, is what you'll find within this trend report. So it's really good information. I'm a Gen Xer, so I fall right in between the baby boomers and uh, and Generation Y. So it's kind of like uh, you know, I, I, my generation is finding their their place in, in the workplace as well. Uh, this is very eye-opening. I used to think that uh, you know millennial talent was an oxymoron like freezer burn or plastic silverware, but you've opened up my eyes to the real contributions that millennials can make. Where can someone see this report, uh, Mark? Is this somewhere someone buys it, downloads it, uh, has access to it? Nope. This is uh, this is complimentary of Sodexo, and you can um, go to uh, www.sodexo. That's S O D E X O insights.com excellent so dexo insights.com uh, and you can download the uh, entire global trends report uh, for absolutely free i will definitely do that mark bickford uh, from sodexo thank you for your time some great information this morning and i really appreciate you uh, sharing uh, some of this data with us today thank you again great thank you bert have a good day thanks a lot oh, that's some pretty eye-opening stuff 70 was he say almost 75 percent of the workforce in just a very short period of time will be the millennials. Man, you better uh, you better know